Today, we make Cypher PK's Countdown. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. So today, we've got another template for you guys. In the past, I've done tons of videos on um, stinger transitions and whatnot, but a lot of people have been requesting that I move into other stream graphics, and I wanna do that as well. And tons of people have been requesting starting soon screens, so that's why we're in this phase of recreating all these top streamer starting soon screens. Last week, we did Ninjas. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But this week, we are gonna be recreating Cypher PK's countdown slash starting soon screen there's a template in the description if you want to download it using that link you can bring it into after effects change the colors change whatever you want and then export it and you'll have your own cypher pk style countdown for your streams but without further ado i'm going to jump into after effects and i'm going to show you how to work this template all right guys so let's take a look at this animation as you can see the timer starts at five minutes and this is actually baked in so if you would like a timer that lasts longer than five minutes or is a different style or font you'll have to create your own timer and then put it into the animation yourself this timer is baked in and cannot be changed so just keep that in mind when you're doing the template so cypher's animation is pretty simple it's just got a very short animation that happens and then it just repeats over and over again so as you can see the logo comes in and scales up now cypher's logo is actually a face so when it comes in, it's constantly animated and moving and looking around, but most people aren't gonna have a face as their logo. You're just gonna have a graphical logo like this. So we didn't do that kind of crazy animation moving around. It's just a logo that comes in, scales up, scales out, and then goes away. And then Cypher's also after the logo, as you can see, it moves around, it scales down, slides out. He's got some text that comes in just like this and says starting soon. And then the starting soon just chills there for a little bit as the timer continues to go down. And then it slides out and then your logo Logo will come back in just like that and then we'll repeat the process the logo animates scales in and then the starting soon comes back in and that's just over and over one thing that cypher starting soon screen has that a lot of people don't notice is this gray border that goes around the timer here and you'll see as the timer continues to count down you'll see that it slowly animates open and changes it to another color so if we scrub through the animation, we'll see that this timer slowly changes from this dark gray to a more burnt orange, just like Cypher's. As you can see, it unwrapped the entire time. And then when the timer reaches zero, you'll see that this finishes up just in time, right? A zero, it ends. And the whole thing is burnt orange. So that's one thing you'll be able to change. You'll be able to change any color you want in this entire thing. So now that we know what it looks like, let's take a look at how to customize it. So when you first open up the template, you're gonna be greeted with all of these compositions right here. You've got final render, your logo here, timer rectangle, main colors, and animation block. So in the final render, this is where you're gonna be rendering it once you're completely done changing everything. And as you can see, we've got the in and out points set for you. The in and out points are just after five minutes. So you'll see it'll hang at zero seconds for a little while just in case you're not ready to switch your scene yet you can hold on zero seconds just for a little bit but we've got the entire countdown happening from five to zero right here that you can export so whenever you need to customize it you want to go to your logo here and as you can see we've got the logo just in this composition and as always with all my templates you can either hide it or delete the logo and then you can just bring in your own logo you animate or you import your own logo drag it in and then you've got it right here you might need to resize it and just make sure it fits inside of this composition just kind of like that and that'll auto update inside of the animation here next you want to go to the main colors and here you might need to scrub forward a little bit so you can see this little yellow bar but here's where you're going to be able to change your dark gray color so if we want to go up to effects controls here you want to click dark gray or click whatever color you want and in this fill right here you can change whatever color you want so you click in this box and let's say we want kind of more of a darkish green like that and then instead of the orange color let's say we want to change it to kind of a light blue and then instead of the yellow let's say we want it to be kind of a pink like that those are kind of some crazy colors here but if we go back to final render as you can see it's updated all the colors for us except for this little timer rectangle thing so as you can see that's all the same same colors so for that to change it you'll need to go into timer rectangle here and then you can click on them rectangle before that'll be the gray so you can change the gray to be a red just like that and then the rectangle after you can change that to be a green if you want and if we head back in here you'll see we've changed the colors once again it's looking real disgusting but I, I believe in you guys you'll have better looking colors than this but as you can see you can change all the colors and then the final color you can change inside of the final render comp right here you'll see we've got a layer called cypher pk countdown timer that is the physical timer here and if you click on it and go up to effects control you'll see we've got another fill effect here so if we click in the gray and we change it to a pink you'll see we now got a pink 
timer. So as you can see, you can change every single color in this comp to whatever you want. If you want to change the color of the text, you want to go into the animation block here. So the animation block is a comp that I provide just in case people want to deep dive and see how it's all animated and whatnot and change the um, change the text to say whatever you want. So if you want to say this, have this say stream starting instead of starting soon, whatever you want, this will be inside of here. You can see we've got the text called starting and soon right here that are animating in. So you can click on this and you can change this to say whatever you want. And you can also change the color just like you would any other text layer inside of After Effects by clicking on it and going to the character tab and changing it to be whatever you want. So this, this template is highly customizable. We're gonna change all the colors back here to what they were before. I want them to look like Cypher PKs. Uh, colors. So there we go. That is Cypher PKs right there. And that is pretty much it for whenever you want to customize it. Just make sure you change your logo and go into timer rectangle, change colors, go into main colors, change all your colors, final render, change your timer color, and then you can change your text or your text color inside of the animation block. I know the colors are spread out all over the place, but as you get animations that are kind of weird and I don't want to call them advanced because they're not advanced, but there's a lot going on all at once. It's kind of hard to start making these um, templates, but I hope Hope you guys understood it and i hope you guys um like the template but whenever you are done with your changes you want to make sure you're back in the final render comp here we've got the in and out points set for you so you don't have to do anything there and then just go up to composition and add to render queue and then where it says lossless in blue right here, you just want to click that and change it from AVI to QuickTime. Now you don't have to do this. AVI is a file that will work, but it is a massive file, especially for a five minute countdown like this. So I always recommend changing it to QuickTime. It'll work just fine. You can leave it at RGB right here because you don't need an alpha background. So just hit OK. And then where it says final render in blue next to the output to click on that. And that's where you can save it wherever you want on your computer, name it, whatever you want. And then you just want to hit render and you are done. All right, guys, so that is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoy Cypher PK's countdown screen. I get so many suggestions for different things to recreate and different things to try. And I promise you guys, I'm trying to just chug along and create as many as possible. I wish I could do more than one video a week. I'm trying to pump them out as quickly as possible while trying to keep up with the stream. And it's just a lot of work. But if you guys have any kind of suggestions, make sure you're letting me down down in the comments. I love seeing all the ideas. I've been getting tons of ideas from you guys. Also, you can hit me up on Twitter if you have any questions questions or ideas as well. But once again, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.